Hi loves, welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial will be on how to recreate this beautiful Miyoko made gown, a straight gown. Do subscribe to the channel, share to friends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, tighten your seat belt because this tutorial is so so interesting. The first thing first we are going to be cutting out is our skirt part of the gown. I actually made it, cut it out as a long skirt but Along the line, I went ahead to make mine a short gown that is a short part, a short skirt actually. So you mark your waistline on the startup line, add your seam allowance to it. I use two inches seam allowance, then from there, you're going to mark nine inches down that is for your horizontal hip measurements. Go ahead and mark your hip measurements, then add your seam allowance. You can use two inches, you can use one and a half inches. Then from there, connect to your waist. Then from your waist, you're going to connect to the bottom part of your skirt. That is the hemline of your skirt. That is what I went ahead to do now. The next step to take is to use your front piece to cut out your back piece. Then you're going to be leaving about 1.5 inches from your center front for your zip allowance go ahead and cut it out now the next thing we're going to be working on is the slits of our gown all right so now from the bottom part of the gown you're going to go ahead and mark 22 inches that is your slit length all right from the bottom i'm going to mark 22 inches that's where my slit is going to stop now from the center piece of where our front piece stops i'm going to go ahead and mark half of an inch till i get to the bottom and this is what I have now. At this point, now I'm going to go ahead and make a slight curve. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Please note, I'm using an Ankara fabric for this tutorial. You can use any fabric of your choice, actually. This is what we have. Then we now slit this part open. Go ahead and notch the center. So what you need to do is to cut out the lining piece for your skirt pieces. All right. So guys, the first thing for us to mark is your half length. So from here now, my half length I've marked it. I'm going to go ahead and insert my shoulder measurements. Then one inch for my shoulder sleeve, three inches for my neck width. Alright. Then I'm going to connect these two points together. Having done this now, I'm going to go ahead and mark my chest line, which is at seven and a half inches. Then I'm going to divide what I have there into two to get the midpoints to create my arm hole curve. Then from there, I'll come in by half an inch. So this is what we have. Now I'm going to go ahead and create my curve. So this is what we have now. Now, the next thing we're going to do is from the startup line, which is the shoulder line, you're going to go ahead and mark your bust line, which mine is at 10, my under bust, which, which is at 13 inches. I'm going to make a rule across. And this is what I have. Having done this now, the next thing to do is to label it. So this is my chest line, this is my bust line, this is my under bust, and this is my half length. Alright. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark our nipple to nipple measurements. So mine is four inches. I'm gonna have to mark it here. You mark it on your bust line, you mark it at your under bust and at your half length. This is what I have. Then I'm going to go ahead and connect. The three points together 
Okay, having done this now, the next thing to mark is so now the next thing to mark now is our dart intake. So I'm going to be using one, one inch on both sides for my dart intake. Note you can use 0 0.75 inches. I've marked it and I'm going to be connecting it to my bust line. And this is what I have. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is from this under bust, I'm going to be going up by one inch. This way, one inch. I'm going to be making a curve from this point now. I'm going to be connecting it to this one inch I have here. And this is what I have. All right. Then this other side of our paper, we want to the marks from here to here four inches. So from this center point you have here, now you're going to also mark four inches. That is from this dark line now you mark four inches inward to this other side i've done that now i'm going to be also connecting it to this that intake we have here that is this that leg we have here so i'm using the comes part of this ring to do that so i'm going ahead to do that and this is what i have now come to your chest line insert your bust measurements the bust measurement I'm working with is eight and a half. I've marked it here, and I'm going to extend this line here to that point. And this is what we have. All right. Now go ahead and divide your under bust measurement by two. So I'm going to measure what I have from my bust line to my under bust. I have three inches. So when I divide it by two, I'll be having one and a half inches. Okay, so from my chest line, I'm going to go up by one and a half inches, and this is where it falls. All right, so from this one and a half inches I have here, I'm going to be making a curve to this point. So I'm gonna to need to make a curve to this point. Now, the next thing to do is I'm also going to be making a curve towards my chest line. All right, so you can decide if you want it to be more deep, you can decide to take it half inch below your chest line or one inch or up to your bust point, bust line entirely. But I also want it to be at the chest line. And this is what we have. This is what it looks like. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and insert my actual body measurements so from here now i'm going to insert two inches for my seam allowance at the waistline i'm going to mark my waist measurements remember we remove two inches here for our dart intake we're going to be adding it back to this one inch stitching allowance that is now your actual seam allowance i'm also going to go ahead and mark my seam allowance connect it to this point and this is what I have. Don't worry, when you remove this dart intake here, everything comes back to normal. All right. So now we're going to go ahead to cut out this piece. So guys, this is for our front. The next thing I'm going to do is you can also do this while cutting on your fabric, but I want to do it on this pattern paper. All right. Before cutting, at this area, I'm going to come up by half an inch on both sides here. Okay. This is where I'm going to be joining my sleeve. All right. That is I'm going to be joining my sleeve. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So for this, you're going to slash it open. They are going to use a tip to hold it down together. All right. So having done, close it up with the solar tip. I'm going to go ahead to cut. Okay. So yes, I adjusted a little. 
So this is what I have. I'm going to be using this cup. I'm going to be splashing it, using it for a spread. All right. But before then, I'll use this to cut out two pieces for my lining. All right. So this is for our bottom part. Now we'll cut the back piece. So for your back piece, the first thing first you have to do is to mark your half length. So remember a half length you want to see 16 and a half inches. So for me, I don't think there is need for much drama here since we know our chest line which is at 8 inches because of one inch below our chest line. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this 8 inches here. I'm going to make a new across. All right. So now I'm going to mark first of all. I'm going to mark one and a half inches for my zipper allowance. And this is what I have. Now, on this chest line, I'll go ahead and mark my bust measurement, which is eight and a half plus two inches seam allowance. Then, for the waist, I'll also go ahead and mark my waist measurement plus two inches seam allowance. Connect the two points together. Then, I'll proceed to crossing it out. So what you have to do is just place it on top of your fabric. At this point now, I'm already going ahead to splash my pattern paper and also label it. And this is what I have. Okay. So the next thing I did was to place it on another pattern paper. Okay. And give an inch, one well, one and a half inches on both each piece. All right. For my splashing. Now I'm going to be adding extra one inch or one and a half inches on top. Okay, reason is for my sewing allowance, all right? I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So I'm watching this bend, so let me notice that this is the center piece of my dress. All right, and this is what I have. Now I'm going to keep this aside. So guys, now I'm going to be cutting out for my back piece. Okay. Then the next thing you have to cut out is you're going to be cutting out a rope that is going to serve as a string for your dress, right? Because you're going to be having a drawstring in front. So your drawstring can be as long as you want.
so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and pipe this so like this i'm going to fold in this way fold in this way go ahead and pipe it all right and please don't forget to cut out a lining for your cup piece at this point now i've gone ahead to turn out my back pieces my skirt back pieces with my lining pieces all right so i'm going to go ahead to mark my dart line and my dart intake okay so that is what i'm going ahead to do now first of all i'm marking one inch for my zipper allowance then i'll go ahead and mark four inches for my nipple to nipple measurement then i'm going to place my tape at my chest line then from there i'll go ahead to mark the depth of my darts so this is it and a half then i'm going to mark 11 inches here all right then from there i'm going to sum up 21 inches so i'll go ahead and run a stitch on it fold it in this way i'll run a stitch on it so guys the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be closing up this zip allowance area okay so i'm going to go ahead and mark the length of my zip then from here i'm going to close it down then i will cut this as a long gown but along the line i'll make it a short gown So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and close this area up, then fix my zip here. So guys, now this is for my front piece. This is what the center piece looks like. Okay. And this is one side of the cup. I went ahead to fold the upper part of this cup and inserted like this way. I folded the upper part of it. Okay, making a casing where I'm going to pass my drawstring. Then for the bottom part, I made a loose stitch on it, then gathered it to give me this. Alright, so this one now, I've passed my drawstring in between. So what I'm going to go ahead to do now is I'm going to be facing this cup on this particular one okay so now i'm going to place it this way from here now i'm going to run a stitch on it place it on this area then i'm going to do the same thing for this one i'm going to still pass my drawstring in between my casing then overlap it to this one so let's see how it's going to look you get the center of this get the center here Get the center here what you have to do is just overlap each other place it center to center go ahead and run a stitch on it all right so i'm going to be turning this out with a piece of lining so this is my lining piece i'm also going to go ahead and place it on top to enable me give me a neat finishing at this area so guys the next thing i'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be joining this upper part to the down parts of our gown that is the skirt part of our gown so after turning it out with our lining this is what we have this is the inside and this is the outside and i'm going to go ahead and join it to the skirt part of my gown all right please you know center to center don't forget the next we're going to be adding now is our sleeve that's next we're going to be attaching okay so i made a casing just like this at the upper part of my sleeve and i passed an elastic in between i used seven inches for my elastic so remember we left half an inch for this upper part for our sleeve i'm going to go ahead and fix it here then join it to my back side after joining my sleeve i went ahead to shape my dress then fixed my zip to the dress do subscribe to the channel share to friends don't forget to give us a 